in this video, I'm going to share with you how to add a calculation, ratio calculation like this in this template. So for ratio calculation, it's actually taking um, the current metrics that you are, are already tracking in your daily tracker. Without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to use this example that I created for October um, to show you how to do that. But feel free to do it in your monthly part. So let's say I'm going to add the ratio calculation just one row below here. So I'm going to come to row 20 and right click and insert one row above. After that, I'm going to come to row 19. Let me just make this bigger. Come to row 19 and copy. Then come to row 20, paste. So now we have an additional row under this table. Now I can get rid of this close deal first. You will just have to right click and click on view more cell actions. Click on data validation. I'll just click on this one because as I hover on it, you can see where this data validation applied to in the green box that is being highlighted. So click on this. And here you can see that it's October B10, which is here until B20. So I'm going to make it until B19. And so you can see that once I do that, this, the data validation for this one is being removed. So now I can actually just key in the new metric name. After that, I'm going to come to this part, which is the daily chart. So for this one, what we need to do is to remove the current formula and we're going to key in the formula to calculate the ratio so it will be this one divide by the total sales which will get the percentage but i'm going to add the formula if error just so that if nothing is being calculated it should return an empty space then you will have to format it as percentage. So you can just click on this one in the toolbar to format it. Then you can click on this to decrease the decimal points. So I'm going to leave it as no decimal points. After you do that, just drag on this corner all the way to the right until the last one. And for this month, metrics, it is now summing up the percentages here. So instead of summing the percentage, you actually want it to calculate the ratio. So what I'm going to do is to remove the formula again and just do the same thing that I just did just now. All right, so now i have um entered this formula and i will just format it as percentage and then for this last month calculation same thing we are going to do the calculation here let's click on this and So this one, I have to format it to percent. Same thing for this one. So you can see that now we have um, the percentages calculated and this part will just automatically populate it for us. So we don't have to modify anything. Now you can see for the daily chart, the color of the percentages are all the same. This should 
indicate a very good performance because it's 100%, this should indicate lower performance. So I'm going to do some modification on the conditional formatting just so that it reflects the actual indication of the performance. So right now, um, we can go to this um, color and click on conditional formatting. And you can see again, we have this color scale. Click on this and you're going to change this to 19 instead of 20. And click done. Now click on this again. And click on this color scale. And you are going to come down here and click add another rule. Here you can remove all the other ranges and change the first one from K19 to K20 and AS19 to AS20. After that, you can click done. And now you can see that the lower percentages is, is colored in. And that's how we can add a ratio or conversion rate calculation in this template. Let's say you want to have this calculation for every single platform. So what you can do is to just add one row above the table. And you're going to just copy this and paste it here. You don't have to repeat the calculation or the modification we did just now. Just copy and paste. It will just work. And if you want to make the same changes for the annual template, you can feel free to do so. It will be the same method that I just explained to you. So that's all that I would want to talk about in this tutorial. If you have any more questions, feel free to email me or message me on my Instagram page and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.